Hello everyone! In this video we will learn how to turn on the Fanuc robot, how to reset the alarms or faults, how to operate the robot in the joint mode, that is, how to independently move every joint, and we will learn how to operate the robot in the world coordinate system, that is, to move the robot along X, Y and Z Cartesian axis. Okay, so here's the first step. We want to turn on the robot. First you need to locate your Fanuc system robotic controller and this is the box. What can you observe here? There is a button on and off. We'll press on or move the switch in the upward position. For the time being, don't touch these two. Actually, this key over here, this button over here and this button over here. The only thing that you need to verify is, the, is that the key is in this position. You don't want to put your robot in the auto mode, you want to put it in the manual mode, such that you can use the teach pendant. The next step is to locate your teach pendant. In my case, the teach pendant is hanging over here. You use the teach pendant to control the robot motion manually. Here is the on and off button. This button should be in the on mode right and the next step is to grab the teach pendant and to start playing with your robot okay so here is our teach pendant and the first thing that you can observe is that there is a fault over here so you can observe a fault so the first step is to clear this fault so Let's learn how to clear the faults. Now, if you look at the back side of your teach pendant, you will observe these two switches. They are called the dead man switches. So whenever you want to operate a robot, you need to hold these dead man switches, at least in the half position. Okay, so let us clear these faults. So I'm holding the dead man switch at least in the half position, and I'm doing the following. I will press shift, this button over here, and I will pre press reset. And here it is. I'm still holding the dead man switch. If I release the dead man switch, again, the fault will appear. So if you want to use the teach pendant, you press shift, you hold the dead man switch in its half position, half pressed, and you press reset. And here it is. This is how we clear the faults. Note that I'm still holding shift. I can clearly release the shift button. Okay, so let us learn how to move the robot in the joint coordinate system. Here's my teach pendant. And if you observe what is written over here, it's written world. Now, this means that currently, if you want to move the robot, the movement will be along X, Y, and Z axis in the Cartesian coordinate system. So the first step is to select the coordinate system. There is a button over here called coordinate. If we press this button, we will observe the following. So we have a world coordinate system, we have a tool coordinate system, we have a user coordinate system, and then we have a joint coordinate system. So to repeat, by pressing the button coordinate, you will select the appropriate coordinate system. 
Okay, so let us move the robot around its base joint. That is, we are rotating around the robot base. So let's see how to do that. The first step, of course, is that you need to press the dead man switch to keep it in its halt position. Then you need to clear the faults. Again, press shift and press reset. Now we have cleared the faults. And the next step is to simply select the joint. So, for example, if you want to select the base joint, here it is. Now we are moving the robot around the base joint. What I'm doing, I'm just pressing this button over here. And if you, and if you notice, it's written J1, J1, positive and negative direction. So let us reduce the speed of rotation. How to do that? Well, if you take a closer look, you will notice here that it's written 50%. This means that the speed is at 50% of the maximum speed. How to reduce the speed? We'll simply press the button over here. So by pressing the button, you can see that you're having 5%, 50%, 100%, and if you go down, you have the fine motion or even the very fine motion. So let's keep the 5%. And now the robot rotates very slowly. Of course, you can select any other joint, but let's first increase the speed to 50% at least, and let's move around the shoulder. That is J2. Here is our shoulder movement. I'm pressing these two buttons. And finally, let us learn how to operate the robot and how to move the robot along X, Y, and Z axis. That is, how to move the robot in the Cartesian coordinate system. So again, here is my teach pendant. First step, clear the faults. Press the button, actually press the deadman switch, press the shift key, and press reset. And you see that the fault is cleared over here. So if you want to move the robot in the Cartesian coordinate system, we will select over here, oops, this is an error, we will select cord, the button cord we press, and then we simply select here, world coordinate system. Okay, again, press the shift, press the deadman switch, press the shift, and press reset. So let us move around or along the x-axis. Here's the x-axis button and let's see what happens. Okay, so this is our x-axis in the world coordinate system. How about the y-axis? Well, to move the robot along the y-axis, I'll press the button over here, y. Okay, so this is our y-axis plus and minus. And let's move the robot along z-axis. This is positive z, this is negative z. Okay, that would be all for today. So we learn how to operate the robot, how to turn it on, and how to move the robot along x, y, and z-axis in the world coordinate system as well as in the joint coordinate system. That is, how to move robot joints independently. Thank you very much. I hope that you like this video. If you like this video, these videos, please subscribe or support my channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day.